helmet, you'll see the today's. It's our beautiful floral pieces. I mean, this is so easy to have that dream porch, you know, where people drive by and go, oh my gosh, look at your florals, look at your beautiful plants. And we have for the fourth anniversary of Leaf and Petal, a beautiful today special. It is the most anticipated today special we do all season long. And it's your gorgeous, gorgeous choice of the wonderful uh, trees. Now we have two different options for you. We have the hibiscus. If you love the beautiful colors, the brightness, the boldness, the big big voluptuous florals on this you're going to order the hibiscus it's always the most popular when we bring it in if you want something a little more understated if you want something equally as beautiful and wonderfully fragrant then you want to go for the gardenia there's many 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 um, different perfumes that are out there that use as their base uh, gardenia so we're all very familiar with that gorgeous scent imagine being it in your yard you know out in your garden on your front porch even inside even on the smallest place, you can have this kind of wow. Well, Rochelle, welcome back. Awesome. It is so good to see you again. Let me introduce this. She's not only an author, she's a landscape designer, but also she's the brand ambassador for Leaf and Petal. Happy fourth anniversary. Thank you. What and a, happy St. Patrick's Day, too. It is St. Patrick's and I, I didn't wear a darn bit of green. I know, I got green for later. <laughs> We're going to go with green on the plants. Yeah, exactly. How about it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we have done this actually for two years in a row. This is actually mm -hmm. the third year we're offering this as a today's special. It's been that yep. popular. Yep. Here's the cool part. It's less expensive than last year's version, oh, but wow. all the wow that we could ever, ever want. So let's get into this because yep. um, Leaf and Petal are known for being real innovators. And, and I want you guys to kind of explain how we're getting this to happen. Yeah. So here's what's happening. You're not just getting one hibiscus. You're getting really three. three. Because what you can see down here is we have the braided stem. And what it is is actually three different plants, each one in each different color. So you're getting the orange, the pink, the yellow, and they're all gonna come together to look like one, uh, we call this a standard. That's that lollipop shape in the industry. One standard hibiscus tree that looks like, you know, it's blooming in three different colors when in fact it is you know, three different things, but it looks like one. So, you know, just think about that. The value, you're, you're not really actually even getting one tree, you're getting That's three. That's true, you triple you're, it. You're, you're, you're actually getting three. You're yeah. not gonna wanna untangle that or anything, because it's beautiful. And these have been really uh, put together. I mean, I've tried to do this myself. It is not easy. Uh, you know, I can't I, imagine. I, 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 the artis, artisanship that goes into actually braiding stems is, is quite, um, it's quite remarkable. Well, it's actually. a real technique. Yeah, it's a real and technique. It's, and so. it's truly an innovation, too. And again, with the gardenia, same concept. We'll get to that a little bit more. Yeah. But you guys might be saying, how does it come to me? And this is what you explained to me that was so cool. Yes. You said, it's a moment when it arrives. It is a moment. It is a moment. I'm a tall person. I'm 5'10, <laughs> I am wearing heels, but. The box is almost as tall as I am, That's and so it shows cool. up, and it's it's kind of skinny uh, because this all kind of gets tucked up, and you pull it out of the box, and it literally kind of unfurls. Oh. So, I mean, think about, like, delivering it to someone as a Mother's Day gift oh, or, yes. uh, you know, even just yourself. It doesn't matter, but it, you pull this out, and this whole thing kind of just goes, ah, and look at all these buds on here. This is how it ships. This is how it comes. I mean, this is a substantial tree. As I said... I'm 5'10", and this is, I mean, this is a huge tree. Yeah, so Straight just so we're really clear on this, yeah. this is the size you're getting. This it's is not you like, get. like you hope in three years it finally looks like this. No. This literally is what comes out of the box, and what I really like is you're going to see the blooms there. You're going to see the buds there. It will literally come almost yes. ready to go to full bloom. Yeah, in fact, I've had it come in bloom. Before. Oh, how yeah. cool is so, that? And these buds, I mean, if you can, I don't know if you can zoom in on this, but there are so many. I mean, there's easily, I don't know, 50 buds here on this um, with some that are about to pop in the next day or so. So, you know, you're going to immediately have this. This is instant satisfaction. You know, this isn't something that you have to wait to grow, you know, over the years or anything like that. Plus, on top of that, I want to point out, this comes in uh, in a two-gallon pot, um, but you do need to upgrade it pretty quickly, I would okay. say. Um, and the reason for that is because this is a pretty heavy feeder. Heavy feeder. 
want to say, you, we'll talk about this, but you want to get that fertilizer to go with it. These really want to be fertilized and they want to be watered regularly. That's so good. to make it easier on yourself, I highly recommend upgrading your pot to something more like this, which is a 14 or 16 inch. That's just going to so save 14, you from having to inch. water every day. Oh, good. Um, it'll be much happier too. <laughs> so, and it'll grow. This, by the way, is, you know, second slash third year. Um, and I want to say wow. too, I grow these, I live in New England. Both of, both of our today's specials, they are not hardy up north, but down here in Florida, they are absolutely hardy. You can plant both of these in the ground. You can plant both of them in the ground as far north as maybe even like Georgia. Um, if you're however north, like me, I plant them in containers. Yep. I leave them out all summer long. And then I bring them in as house plants all winter long. Yes, so when you're in happy. north, don't worry. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna be able to enjoy them all year long. You're just gonna bring them inside yep. where it's really, really cold up there. Yep. Now, yeah, hang on one second, Rocky, too, because I do wanna mention, please don't forget about the gardenia. What happens is we brought in a whole lot less of these. So if you love that smell of gardenia, that beautiful scent, and by the way, both of these give you blooms starting in the spring all the way through the fall. So you ever get a plant or a flowers and you get like two weeks you're like oh it's so pretty and then it's just well it's green for the rest of the summer this is going to give you beautiful florals for the entire spring summer and into the fall and then obviously I just love how gorgeous that waxy green deep leaf on both of these so it really is enjoyable all year long for me what I really love about it is think about your home do you have a big porch or a small porch do you have a little teeny patio do you have a little balcony this is going to work virtually anywhere which is so exciting I love that shot you're seeing because imagine these flanking the steps of your porch it changes the curb appeal instantly from wow that's a nice house to boy that is gorgeous so you just saw the gardenia in the front porch and then I mean my goodness this yeah. is unbelievable when you think about the colors and the big blooms and imagine getting these really voluptuous blooms all spring all summer, well into the fall, and enjoying it year after year. These are perennial plants. Yeah. They're not one and doneers, which is fabulous. So you use our FlexPay, you invest in it today, you're good to go. One other th quick thing, Rochelle, is you did mention the leaf and petal, uh, the leaf and petal food, which we're going to yeah. talk about this throughout the hour. Yeah. Highly recommend it. Really easy to use. We'll explain it in just a second. But if you get our today special and this, you've hit the $75 threshold for free shipping. Yay! And you need this to go with it. If you want to really get the best out of these plants, yeah. you want to use the leaf and petal uh, food that, that's available. But so cool. If you get our today's special, you add this to it. Now you've hit free shipping. And not only do these two things ship for free, the rest of the day, everything else will ship for free no matter what you're purchasing, which is really awesome. So how do we use the plant food? Oh, these are so easy. That's why I love these. And by the way, you can use this not just on these. And they're great for anything that's flowering. Like if you, if you have some Something that you want to get a lot of blooms out of you're going to want to feed it because it needs it needs that extra uh, nutrition but you can also use this on your house plants you can also use it on vegetables this is what it comes like you get these little pouches there's uh, 50 of them in a container this lasts forever <laughs> I do this about once a month sometimes sometimes people do it every other week I, I don't do it that much it's more than enough dissolve this in a little bit of warm water about a gallon one one of these to a gallon that's it water it'll turn your water purple and pour that that water over these plants and you're all set and to go. And they will love so them. So simple. And again, grab this, grab the today special, yeah. free shipping. We love that. Free shipping is always nice. Now, I do want to talk about how do you know when you're going to get your plants, when they should arrive. You guys have thought of that too. We have thought of that. If you take a look at the map, which we'll put up here in just a second. The map will show you uh, where you live. Take a look and you can coordinate the color with um, the delivery date or, or the ship date. So um, these ship dates, they're we're giving you them so that you know when to plant it. So if you're gonna plant it into the gra in the ground, that's the safe time to plant it in the ground. If you're up north and you're not planting it in the ground, this is a safe time to put it outside. Um, so as soon as you get it, plant it. We're trying to make this super simple. 
Yeah, you don't have to call. I'm sorry. You don't no, have to call it's, uh, or he's or he's talking to both of us. Know, it's okay, Rocky. <laughs> you just confused the heck out of poor Michelle. She's like, wait, someone's talking in my ear. So, yeah, it's yeah. smart shipping. It is smart shipping. Right, which yeah. is great. You, you don't, don't have, have to worry, worry about it. Exactly. It'll just arrive when it's supposed to. Exactly. And you know what would be really fun? I always do this all the time is I will buy something like on auto ship, and then all of a sudden it arrives unexpected. I'm like, oh, it's like, oh, what am I getting? Yes, it totally is like that. So when this arrives, you'll probably forget. Oh, oh, it's my, and then when you open the box and you're like, like this is a this. Box. Look at this. Like, look how gorgeous this gardenia is. You yeah, go, oh my gosh, them. I am so happy I got this. Now I do want to break a couple things down. We have five flex pays on either choice tonight. So what that means, if you ever made your credit card, it's so easy. You're only going to spend what is it, eleven dollars and ninety nine cents to get this home. Believe it or not, you still return it if you want to. I don't think you're sending it back because it's not like you're buying a little stick and you're like, well, twelve years from now, I'll really be able to enjoy this. <laughs> right you're going to get this when it arrives with it about ready to blossom or possibly starting to blossom so even this spring and summer you're going to start seeing flowers and be wowed and enjoy it now a couple years later obviously it is going to get taller and bigger but i i love it that you're not starting from scratch because no. i think those yeah. of us who maybe like i love to garden i'm not a great gardener i love the fact that these are easy they're already started i don't have to baby them to the growth stage or the blooming stage stage they're literally ready to go now here's a heads up if you want of the two right now and i just got an update if you want the hibiscus which is the beautiful are they really Oh, interesting. Okay. Excellent. I just got an update. They're actually selling absolutely equal. Fantastic. And it's funny, when I came over here to the Gardenia, you literally can smell how beautiful that I is. I have to tell you a story. You know, when we were in the pandemic, I, we were doing airings from home, and so we were shipping plants. But I got house. all of the plants at my house. <laughs> I walked in, and they had all these boxes there, and I could smell the Gardenia even before I opened the box. I knew it was a gardenia in there. And when I pulled it out, it had one oh. blossom in bloom. One blossom in bloom. And it literally smelled up my entire house so good. inside of a box. It's like, that's smells. how strong these are. It's they so smell good. amazing. This is the most fragrant um, shrub that you can possibly plant. So if you love the smell of gardenia, which most people do, uh, that's why they're the base of most mm -hmm. every expensive perfume. Look at all the blooms. You are going to love the gardenia. They're such a beautiful flower. These are the variety called Amy, which actually oh. is... Uh, an extra large flower um, and they just have that velvet like kind of ceramic almost looking that's it's why they're so, so popular pretty. for like bridal bouquets. Oh, weddings yeah, yeah. And but I gotta tell you guys there's there's already so many buds I mean you, I can't believe and, and this is yeah there's a ton of them on here right now which is exactly. amazing and again is that going to vary for everyone shipped of course it's nature but yeah. they guarantee you that there will be buds and even blooms yes. possibly when you take it out of the box yes. so for me I love what you said too Rochelle was think about this as that mom's day gift mm -hmm. and what you do is print out a picture of it from like hsn.com and then put it in the envelope and then it's like a double gift mm -hmm. she opens it goes what did you get me and then when it arrives she She's like, oh my goodness, yeah. that hibiscus just arrived. That gardenia just sure. arrived. She will call you so fast and be like, thank you, that's the <laughs> coolest thing. And also here's what's really fun. We can direct deliver this to her. So here's what's really cool. Yeah. Why would you get her some roses or just a flower arrangement when you could give her one of these, right? So what you do when you order tonight is instead of shipping it to you, you say ship it to mom, ship it to my friend's birthday, whatever. Yeah. And we will ship it for you. It'll be the same shipping window. It'll, they'll ship it when, at that appropriate address. And it's so much better than like some roses in a vase who she's going to throw away like in a couple days. It's so much better than just getting a floral arrangement that you ordered online real quick and you never even see it you're sending her this or this and that's a gift that she's going to appreciate and love now another quick update too if you want to get to free shipping this is a really easy way to do it get the food and the food's really going to make it much more easier and it's really simple to do and the plants love it we have several we have lavender plant coming up you guys we have a honeysuckle plant coming up that's out of this world it's a 50 counts is going to last you a long time you're going to make a gallon each time and if you get this along with our today's special not only do you get free shipping on both but you get free shipping on everything you order for the rest of the entire day and you really kind of want to get this so it's an awesome way to get to that free shipping 
One more thing, I know it's a lot of information. If you use your HSN card right now, we have a deal going on for today only. It's a VIP savings event. And what it is is use that code, you can use it over and over and over again. And for every $75 you order, we're gonna automatically take $15 off. So grab your card. Now, you'll still get the free shipping, even though it's gonna be not $75, because you get you're gonna use the code, uh, you'll still get the free shipping because you initially are hitting the 75 for the free ship. Mm. Makes sense, right? Good deal. Like that's, honestly, use that code and use it all day long and you're saving even more already on a great value. Okay, so let's talk about how extended care is. Yes. Up north, we want to bring it in the winter. We can plant it in the ground if you live down south. Yes, so down here in Florida, I mean, this will turn into this in just a very short amount of time. If you plant it in a container up north, which is what you will have to do if you're you know, anywhere zones uh, eight and above, really, then you're gonna have to keep it in a container. You'll bring it in in the winter. This is what I do. I do it every year. I've got multiples of each of these. They look beautiful. They're gorgeous, gorgeous so houseplants. Pretty. They do kind of go dormant in the winter, so it is just this like, beautiful popsicle but it kind keep, of thing. But it keeps it green, right? It keeps the right? green foliage. Beautiful. It's very pretty. Um, and it's just a very nice house plant and a nice sunny window. And then the moment you take it back outside and start watering it in the full sun, you start to get these buds again. Um, but I want to point out to you, uh, with all of our leaf and petal perennials, which both of these are perennials, you get the full one year guarantee. So if you have any issues with any of these uh, throughout the whole year, so not just, not from the time you order it, but the time you get it. So you have a whole year on the back of our brochure. This will come right in it. It not only has all this information inside here about how to care for it and all that, all of this, but on the back is our contact details. And if you have any trouble, just reach out, call so, us. We've got people just to answer your questions. Yeah. Little, you know, well, of course the guarantee. Well, here's a question also, you might have is, yeah. okay, what well, you might forget you, the size container you need to put it in when it gets yeah. out home. They also, in the instructions, will explain how to transfer it to a different container. Yep. So that's important because you want to do that right, but it's really easy. And yeah. I have to say, even if you're a brown thumb, you're like, I can't grow anything. <laughs> These are going to work for you. Just get this in a little water, mm -hmm. move them into a new container and you have years of loving it like yeah. it's it's so for me such a bummer like my husband he's really sweet he'll buy me flowers and literally uh, two days later yeah. I'm going to the garbage and I'm throwing them out for less than the price of a dozen red roses you're going to give something to someone that they're going to love for years oh, and tree. here's the cool thing <laughs> you're not getting a stick and 10 years later you finally got a tree you're literally out of the box getting something that is either blooming yeah. or ready to bloom and the cool thing is it's not two weeks and then it's done for the year no. this starts to bloom in the spring and it blooms all the way into the fall that is month after month after month of a beautiful porch of a beautiful little balcony of a tiny little spot you have inside the corner of your house you know it's wherever you live you can bring the beauty of florals into your home we only do this one time a year and it's right now yep. so if you want to grab it I would I would highly recommend if you're going to go for the gorgeous gorgeous um, um hibiscus. hibiscus sorry i would order this one tonight by far it's out selling the gardenia okay we just got a quick update but the hibiscus has all these amazing colors the floral the flowers themselves are giant they're so i love hibiscus yeah. um no, but if you want the size. hibiscus i mean yeah look how yeah. huge those yeah. are if you want the hibiscus your bet best bet is to order it tonight now on the flip side if you love gardenia i.e this that scent is amazing the white is so chic and classic and beautiful especially if you're going to put it like flanked on either side of your front porch stunning entrance right if you're going for the gardenia i have a whole lot less of those than i do of the hibiscus so just wanted to give you a little stat of where we are between the two hibiscus outselling gardenia but gardenia i have half the quantity in gardenia than i do in the hibiscus and the other reason i tell you that is i don't to be mad <laughs> it happens to me all the time I'll see you today's yeah. special and go, oh, I should order that. Then I go to bed. Then I get really busy the next day. And then I tune back in or I go online. Yeah. And I go, oh, dag gone it. The yeah. hibiscus is gone. Or the gardenia yeah. is gone. Yep. And I'm like, oh, shoot. I should have got it when I saw it. You should. Did well, it, done that a million times. Even worse <laughs> with plants, though, I, I say this to people, you know, if it were like, I don't know, a hairdryer or something, you could you could go buy another hairdryer. So gar true. plants, plants, we can't recreate this. Like when they sell out, we I mean, we, we bring in a whole bunch of these, like, but we bring them in from across 
across the country. We are, we can't just recreate another plant overnight. Great we point. Can't, we can't manufacture this. It's gonna be another year at least before you can buy this again. So not just with these plants, any plants, buy them when you see them because you're not gonna get them later. That's a great point, because you're yeah. right, I could just go to the store and buy a darn yeah. hair, blow, or hair yeah. dryer. Yeah. yeah, that's easy. These, no. Now again, leaf and petal are known for just innovation. They're known for the quality of the plants that they bring us. And this is so cool because basically in either option, you're getting three plants. This is a yeah. braided, twisted bottom. All this work is done for you, but look how beautiful that is. So really think about it. Envision this. If you're in an apartment and you have just a little teeny balcony or a little teeny, you know, cement pad, imagine this flanking your front door. Now, if you happen to have a bigger home like we have behind me, imagine two of them on either side. And with our flex pay and all the free shipping going on, you're going to just create that wow moment. The curb appeal is so amazing. When you drive by your own house, you're going to marvel at it. Like, dang, that looks good. <laughs> and we love that. And of course, who doesn't love florals? Yeah. I mean, who, when was the last time you got flowers at work or someone gave you flowers for a birthday? Yeah. You loved them. I mean, it's so pretty to have flowers. They're just gorgeous to look at. They brighten up the home. They brighten up your life. They brighten up your soul, right? But then you have to throw them away because they, they're dead. With this, for literally months this summer, you're going to drive by, pull up, or walk into your home, or go out back, and you're going to go, oh my gosh, I can't believe these are still blooming, and they look beautiful. Well, and you know what else is amazing about these? The hibiscus specifically, these blooms, they're like daylilies. They want a day, every day. Not, not that you get only one a day. You get many in a day, but they only last today that is how much that is just pumping out those flowers this, these incredible. things are workhorse flowers and I want to point out something else sure. we're gonna have a couple other things coming up in the show but the beautiful thing about this is when you up upsize this container you're gonna first of all gonna be elevating it just a little bit more so look how tall this thing gets <laughs> but it leaves plenty of room down underneath if you want to pair it with something else oh pretty other plants, you plants know, plan extra because there's some, we've got some ivy down yeah, here that I thought ivy was really here pretty as an example you, okay. I mean, you could use mulch if you want but if you wanted to do something else I mean you'd still have room to play and make a cool moment Yes. It'll yeah. be beautiful. I'm One so excited for everybody. So many options. Yeah. Okay, so I definitely want you to check this out and please go to hsn.com. It's quite frankly right now the easiest way to get into the front of the line and make sure you get either hibiscus or the gardenia. But if you also go to hsn.com, there you go. It's a couple of clicks and you're done. It's so easy to shop on .com. I do it all the time. I think it's a great idea. Uh, also, too, I do want to mention the uh, plant food. This is a 50 count. You're going to do one of the little pods to a gallon of water and it's really going to nourish and really super feed your plants any plants quite frankly but definitely our today's special if you pick this up along with our today's special you then hit the 75 dollars threshold to get free shipping not only on both of these but to get free shipping on everything you shop for here at hsn all day long also i know it's confusing but if you have your hsn card please use the vip savings because not only does it trigger free shipping getting both of these but then you're going to save an additional what are we doing guys on that $15 off of every $75 you spend. So it's an awesome time to just get everybody a plant like this. Have some fun with it. And you can use that code as many times as you'd like. Okay, when we come back, oh my goodness, we have the most amazing honeysuckle. The lavender, even if you're in the driest place on earth, it's going to work for you as well. And so much more as we continue celebrating Leaf and Petals' fourth anniversary here on HSN. I can't wait to do the lavender and the honeysuckle. I love honeysuckle. <laughs> hey everyone, Juliana Rancic here. Welcome to my home. I want to tell you all about my brand new show, Juliana and Friends. You're invited to my home every Saturday where I'm going to be showing you my favorite HSN products with prices you can only get on my show. And you'll never know which one of my friends will show up. So come on over tomorrow night at 8 only on HSN and HSN.com. Hi everybody, it's Denise Austin, and I've been helping millions of people stay in great shape for over 40 years. Helping women aspire to be healthy, active, and vital has always been a passion of mine. I am so excited to be part of the HSN family. You know why? I get to inspire you. We are gonna get fit together. Join fitness expert Denise Austin to live ever better. Because you are worth it. 
Get the best deals on the things you love with the HSN card. As an HSN card VIP, you'll get all kinds of perks, like VIP financing on so many items, plus extra flex on every item under $369, all day, every day, and at least eight VIP savings events a year. Includes fraud protection, and there's no annual fee. Apply now and instantly get $10 off when you're approved. Call 1-800-695-1418 or visit hsn.com slash HSN card. Food is my obsession. Cooking is my life. At hsn.com, discover online cooking demonstrations to help you spice it up in the kitchen. Who wouldn't love you for that? Explore, watch, and shop all of our top chefs at hsn.com. You're watching HSN, I'm Suzanne Runyon, and we're so excited because this is our first big, big spring is around the corner. It's our event actually is officially called, I wrote it down. Uh, it is our spring home and garden event. It's a 24 hour event. And Rochelle is here from Leaf and Petal. We're celebrating their fourth anniversary. We have so many cool items coming up. And again, this next one is honeysuckle. Honeysuckle happens to be one of my favorites. I have probably three favorite flowers that I love so much. And honeysuckle's right up there because it just smells so darn good but here's what I wrote which I thought was funny it adapts to various climates and soil type and in almost any part of the country yeah so when you think about honeysuckle or florals you say oh is it gonna work this one's so hardy yeah well <laughs> it's a native plant so that I mean that is why these uh, grow pretty much everywhere and they're so easy to grow this one is particularly beautiful because it has these colors I mean oh the gosh. A lot of honeysuckle is like just orange or just yellow or maybe just pink this one has the full range of colors in it that's why I love this one this one's also a little bit more compact than a lot of honeysuckle I mean you might have seen it it's like rambling out of control somewhere this one's only gonna get about six to eight feet so it's just nice and perfect for going up a fence or, you know, uh, even in a window box if you want to go up the side of your house, up a, a trellis like this in a container. So this is how it comes. Mm -hmm. You're going to get two. And it comes pretty hardy already. Yeah, like it's no, kinda, these are great. It's, it's got a good start. These are great. <laughs> they do not need a ton of support to grow themselves. I mean, you do want a trellis or something for them to grow, but they will twine on their own, so it's not a lot of, like, some of the, some of the climbers, you really have to, like, pin them in, and you really have to, like, baby them to get them to go where you want them to go. Honeysuckle is not one of them. It is a very, very simple plant, and the real reward of this is that scent. That's oh, the reason yes. why you love it. We all love the scent. You know honeysuckle when you smell it. Mm, it smells so good. Yeah, yeah. It's funny, we have the gardenias are today's special. Again, that is that is a significant flower for perfumes. Yeah. Honeysuckle it is as well. It I mean, think of well. all the yeah. things we sell just for Bath and Body that has honeysuckle in it. Yep. And I think we just love that popular smell. Look at that picture, though. How gorgeous. Beautiful. Now, here's what I love. It's very cold tolerant. It it's is. It's disease resistant, and it's easy to grow. That yep. really caught my attention because you really don't have to worry about it too much. No, I mean... A lot of the native plants, we just don't have to worry about them because they grow naturally here anyway. So right. that's that's one of the great big joys of doing that. But other big joy of it is that it's really going to draw in the pollinators. So birds, birds, bees, butterflies, all of those things that we really I need to support. That. This has got those great flowers with the long throats. We've talked about that before on this one. You know what? You know they're good for the pollinators when they have those long, deep flowers. And honeysuckle definitely has them. And this is so easy because it's going to be covered with these blooms right through most of the season. You're going to, I mean, yeah, we want to give you these no-brainer plants. Like, right. that's what Leaf and Petal is all about, is making the non-gardener look like a rock star gardener. Which is great. <laughs> like, God bless them. Yes. That's for the vast majority That's of why us. we pick things. <laughs> that's to right. Bring to HSN, <laughs> is the easy stuff, or the stuff that looks hard, but isn't really hard. Okay, uh, so now let's talk shipping, and then I want to talk yeah. about what to do when we get home with it. Yes. Yeah, so when you get home with it, this is something you can plant it in a container like we've got here. Personally, I would put, put it right in the garden it's hardy throughout most of the country. You're gonna get it like this. You can put two of them together for a fuller look. I would probably spread them out. It will ship according to that same zone map that we saw a little bit ago. Okay. It will be um, arriving right when you should plant it. That's another thing we try to do. We try to take all the question uh, uh, questions out of your mind. So when it arrives, that's when you plant it. Um, that's when it's safe to plant it outside uh, in your garden. So um, this one is quite simple. Just make sure you have something for it to grow on um, otherwise it'll kind of end up as a mound so you can plant it my we know one of my favorite things to do though is if you have something else growing like maybe you have a climbing rose or uh, I don't know wisteria or something else I love
love planting climbers with other climbers because then they climb through each other oh, and they beautiful. look they look extra pretty, you know. Yeah. And so something's blooming in the spring and something else blooms in the summer. You've got blooms all year round. So depending on what you've got, plant it with another climber or someplace where it can grow. Okay, and then you mentioned it, but I want a little more clarification. Yeah. How often and how long will we see flowers? You will see flowers basically all summer. These are summer oh, bloomers. Nice. And this is how they come. These are pretty substantial. And you'll see too, like these have these really, they, they grow on their own. They grab on on their own. So you don't have to do a lot of uh, pinning and tucking to get it up that trellis. That's so it's, cool. They're very well, um, And I think too climbers. about mailboxes, how gorgeous. You ever drive by somebody who's got a climbing uh, on their mailbox? Yeah. It's just, it is such a cool, I love going down a road or, and you see just these beautiful florals going up a mailbox, or if you have a light pole, how pretty light on a pole. light pole going up the pole. And so you, instead of the kind of an ugly pole, there you go. Or here's another thing. Do you have to hide something? I mean, do you have like a really, like maybe you have an outdoor air conditioning unit mm -hmm. and it's just so ugly. You're like, that's not pretty. When I sit out back, I don't want to see my air conditioning unit. What you do is you just get very inexpensive trellis yep. or, you know, those can, can the expandable fence. Is, you put it around it, plant these, and before yep. you know it, that's going to be completely beautifully covered with the with the yep. honeysuckle. Or you know what a lot of people have? They have the elevated decks, and they you know they have that kind of grubby area under the deck, and you put trellis around that. Plant this in oh. front of the trellis; it will grow right up, and it'll grow you know up through your railings, and you'll smell it throughout. You know every time you're sitting on your deck, it's. Perfect. It would be so gorgeous. Yeah. And you know what I think too? And, and again, this is $29.95. We've got three flex on this. We have five flex, by the way, on the today's special. Whenever you can bring florals into your life and it's really easy, that's what we love. And and I really am speaking to a lot of you who say, well, I live in an apartment or I live in under 700 square feet, but I do have a little patio out back. Just adding one floral, obviously the today's special is spectacular. It'll work. Adding this, maybe you have that privacy wall and it's so ugly between you and the next person beside you and you want to make it beautiful, you just put it in a container. You don't need a fancy big garden no. to look like you know what you're doing when it comes to gardening. And this one especially, also with the lavender, I want to repeat this because I think it's so important, especially if you don't do a lot of gardening. It's cold tolerant, it's disease resistant, and it's very, very easy to grow. So if you just want to kind of put it out and kind of semi forget about it once it's all stable and going, then you kind of can when you're talking about this one specifically. Yeah, no, definitely. You know, I've, I've specified plants for gardens and projects. This is one I've done a fair number of hotel projects. We put these in hotels because they're they're so tough. They're, they're, like they people, can take the people, abuse. People, yeah, like in these little gardens at hotels. That's great. They're great for that. So, you know, this is definitely one of those plants you are not going to um, have an easy time of killing. You're not going to have an easy time of, um, you know, making it anything other than beautiful. This uh, is going to grow for you. Uh, Right as soon as you get it. I mean, this... Put and it's a perennial, together. too. And it's so a perennial. year after yeah. year, year after year, season year after, after year. season. Again, it's not one and done like an annual and it dies. And you know what? I love annuals, but boy, when I plant them, then all of a sudden the season's over, you're like, oh, God, i got to plant them again. I ain't got time for that. I love perennials, okay? Well, let me give you an update on our beautiful today's special. It is your choice of the hibiscus, which is these beautiful, giant blooms or the sweet smell of the gardenia plant. These are literally trees that come woven in, you know, literally out of the box. Now, I'm going to step down here because I want to show you guys what they look like when they arrive. You're not getting a stick, <laughs> which you hope 10 years from now you're going to get it to be something. This is literally the size, approximately, or close to, that they will come to your door. Now, remember, if you get the plant food, which will work on the honeysuckle as well and even the lavender, now you're getting free shipping all day long because you meet the $75 threshold. Most of you are throwing in the plant food to get the free shipping and to take the best care you can of the flowers of your tree. So you do have the two options. We've now sold over 1,400 today's specials in about a little around a half an hour or so. So it's a great time if you're picking up the gardenia, which is the most limited, or the, hi or the hibiscus, which is the most popular. Right now is a perfect time to get it, and then you sit back and boom, it comes to your door. Also, think Mother's Day gift. We will ship it to that person. Think new baby. Wait, can you imagine a mark a new baby more? Oh, 
Aww. like, oh my gosh, every time this blooms and you see it, you think of the baby's birthday and on and on. I got a million reasons why this would make a great gift and we will ship it directly to that person at the appropriate time for them to enjoy it. Hey, by the way, I hope you can join me every Tuesday night. In fact, tomorrow night it's going to be, or I'm sorry, Tuesday night, it's going to be at 7.30. Normally it's 8 p.m., but we're going to move it up a half hour. It's my HSN Gets Crafty. It's a wonderful show we only do online. If you want all the details, please join our new member group on Facebook. We now have close to 5,000 members in a little over a month. And you'll find out everything that's going on. You'll see videos. And what's more importantly, you guys are sharing your creative passions with all of us to enjoy. So if you want to find out about my Tuesday night show, definitely join our group tonight. And then you'll learn about all the crazy stuff we do on Tuesday nights on our Facebook Live only. Rochelle is here. Not only is she a gardening uh, expert, she's a landscape designer, and she's an author as well. Mm -hmm. And she joins us as the brand ambassador for Leaf and Petal. Happy fourth anniversary. Thank you. We're very excited. All right. I Lavender. can't believe it's been four years. Okay, so the other day, this is pretty funny. I'm at a restaurant and they made a drink and lavender was in it. Yes. And it very changed. Oh, yeah, it's no, so it was good. beautiful. Yeah. But it was amazing. Between the taste and the scent, it was like this incredible moment. We were all yeah. like oogling over it. We're like, mm -hmm. a lavender drink, this is so cool. So now we have a lavender plant. And yes. once again, why do we love this? Because you can really, really not be very good at gardening and have a lot of success with beautiful lavender. Yeah, lavender, um, particularly the lavenders that um, we're selling in the U.S. now, as opposed to ones that maybe you might have tried a number of years ago, which would probably have been English lavenders or French lavenders, okay. that weren't really accustomed to growing in the U.S. and weren't bred to grow here. But this one, since Sensational is a newer lavender. The reason we call Beautiful. it sensational, sensational, it's a little play on <laughs> words, is because um, this particular lavender has one of the highest oil uh, contents of really? any lavender. So, you know, we're just talking about the crafting. I love to think of oh. lavender with the crafting. This one, oh. I mean, this even the foliage smells amazing. It's the flowers that we normally think of that have. But all you know what I did? I actually that? just, I just yeah. took my finger and I rubbed on the on the on the leaf. Amazing. Mm -hmm. And the, the, it is, I mean, it is that very fragrant. genuinely beautiful lavender scent that we love. Yeah. All right, so what are we getting in this? How does it come to us? So you're, they're coming like this. Do you're you get two? Get, you're going to get three. 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 Here's my little third I know. guy. The, yeah, I don't know where the third guy is, but this is how they're going to come. You can grow these in containers like we have here. I'm... Put them in the ground. These are going to be with you year in and year out. Put them in a place where you can brush by them, where you can enjoy the scent. Mm. Put them in a nice sunny spot. Put them uh, with other things, like we've got roses coming up here. These are great partner plant for roses. They smell amazing. Oh but you're going to want to put them in a place where you can, um, you know, pick the lavender. I mean, yeah, because that's yeah. where that's what the you know the real you know, prize of it is, Look how and that you, is. you know, potpourri. I like to put it in my uh, shower, or pers personally, I put it up above my um, kitchen sink so I can smell it. You know, when I'm oh, washing that's a dishes. Great idea. Uh, but people make little satchels for under their pillows. Uh, all kinds of really crafty things you can do with it. And just, it smells, it smells so good. Smells so. So good. this is about the size we should expect. This is about the size you can expect. This is going to get big. Um, these these make. Um, you know, like this size, a couple feet by a couple feet. Um, they're great for a little low hedge. I like to also plant mine in my vegetable garden because they do bring a lot of pollinators. So if you've got other vegetables, tomatoes, peppers, whatever, this will this is a nice companion plant for a lot of those. Brings in brings in all the beneficial insects, and they just smell kind of amazing because you're out there, you're picking. You, I mean, I love the way a vegetable garden smells. Like oh, this no. combined with basil or whatever else you got going oh, can on. Can you imagine? Oh, it's just like where well, I want to sit then, all and day then long. I just love that yeah. picture that we saw because you can see a row of them all together. Mm -hmm. This is a great time and a great place to buy multiples. Yeah. Obviously, Leaf and Petal are giving us values that you're just not getting elsewhere. And you are getting a set of three, even though we're only holding two, you will get a set of three. And again, very quickly, yeah. these are going to just start to grow and really start to produce some beautiful florals. And who doesn't love lavender? We've talked about the gardenia. We love that scent. We see honeysuckle in all the bath and body products. And we see lavender in so many relaxing products, like lavender oils that you buy. Uh, why do we love it? Because it is that relaxing, beautiful scent. But what I love is they're just beautiful purple. I mean, yeah. who doesn't love a purple flower, right? Um, now, when do they ship, and what should we do with them once we get them at home? 
All right, so they're gonna ship according to the same map that we've been showing, so the perennial map. Again, plant them when you get them. Uh, these are gonna be something that wants that hot, dry spot. They are not gonna be something that you need to water a lot, so if you have that place <laughs> where it's just like baking hot, that's where you're gonna wanna put these. They have that nice silvery foliage. That's one of the, one of those things Beautiful. that we think about when uh, we see silvery foliage. That's your clue to say, put it in a hot, dry spot, because that's, that's an, an adapt, adaptation that plants do to deal with the heat. So. Um, Put it in that hot, dry spot. Don't really worry about it. This is going to thrive That's and survive great. in uh, throughout most of the country. I live up in Boston, and it lives there quite happily. So that's zone 5 slash 6. So you can grow this pretty much anywhere. Uh, just make sure you get tons of sun. Uh, plant it when you get it. Uh, this also comes with a one-year warranty, like all of our perennials. So again, if, if you have any trouble with it, next year, if it doesn't come back, you can still call us. It, our numbers are right there on the back of this uh, brochure that's going to tell you all about it. Now, um, do, when plant. will we see florals? You'll see florals in the midsummer. So, uh, yeah, like June, July, and then they'll they, they'll stay on if you want them. A lot of people cut them off because um, they want to use them for crafts. I tend to leave mine on. Um, some they'll dry right on, and they still look pretty even yeah. after they've kind of gone off. They yeah. don't really look. They well, think about dried like. dried lavender. We've yeah, seen exactly. it all the time. Exactly. And I love the foliage. I mean, I think even if you cut them all off, you still have these beautiful bushy green plants that look it's gorgeous. Really and again, yeah. for those of you who say, how many of us live in well here? in Florida, really hot weather, you know, and think of Arizona. Think of all those places you just can't grow much. You know, I think that's kind of a bummer. If you yeah. live in a really arid climate or here in Florida where everything grows, but it's just so darn hot and you have to water your plants constantly. When I used to have my regular size house, if I wanted anything to exist other than, you know, jungle plants, I'd have to water, if I wanted any yeah. florals, I had to water them all the time because they're just so hot here in the summertime. With this, it loves the sun. It it loves hot. It wants hot. So for those of you who go, oh, that's me. I just, or do you yeah. have that really hot spot in your front yard? Mm -hmm, we it's all do. Nothing ever grows there. <laughs> like they always yes. say, I can't get anything to grow there. Guess what? Grab these, put the lavender there. Yep. And then all of a sudden, and again, when you saw those beautiful pictures, you don't have to baby it. It's not like you're out there having to water it every day. I used to kill so many plants here in Florida only because I love florals. Yeah. I love flowers. Most of the plants we have typically are going to be green. They're like yeah. jungle like yes. and so I would work so hard and they'd end up dying anyway Because I'd forget yeah. to water them one day and then I go out there and this would be dead as a doorknob Yeah, right? it's all about putting the right plant in the right place and when we hear that right plant right place That's like a big landscape architect thing to say yeah. um, But it's true This is definitely one of those plants that if you have a hot dry spot This is going to thrive there and so that is what you want to plant is something like this um, That isn't gonna need as much water that isn't gonna need as much babying and is actually going to you know Take in all that Sun and translate into these uh, just completely amazing flowers that are full of that lavender oil. And I just want to emphasize that this particular, we, we sell a lot of varieties of lavender on here and they all kind of have their own special feature. This particular lavender variety is all about the high content of the oils. Wow. Um, so if you're into crafting, if you're into, you know, anything Essential where you're oils. distilling or <laughs> cooking or anything where you're, you know, really wanting to have an extra high content of the oils, the lavender oil, this is the variety that you want to buy. How cool is that, that right? Cool? Yeah. Oh yeah, this is the variety. This is the variety. And again, if yeah. you want the no fuss, no muss, I don't have to water it hardly at all, this is it. Yeah. And it looks amazing and it smells great too. Yeah. All right, we're gonna wrap up on this, guys. Stay right there for it. I know we're really, really busy for the honeysuckle we just had. You guys are all over the lavender. I love it, you're gonna try it tonight. But we don't have time to get to this, but I did want to mention it really quickly. Uh, this is from Green Base. It is our knife multi-purpose garden tool with the sheep which is great because this does a whole thing. It's going to help aerate the ground. It's going to help twist things. You can cut things with it. Um, it just gets a whole lot of jobs done very quickly, as you can see, and it's only $26.95. That is a new item that we're featuring tonight. It's just one of those really great tools that you'll just carry with you as you're working throughout your yard, throughout your garden, even if you're digging out those old darn weeds that we hate. Look how fast that came out. All right, we are not done because the next item, wow, wait till you see this hot, 
pop of color in your garden bed, in a container, even in a hanging basket. Check this out. This is a showstopper. Like you can't help but walk up or see a home or see a front porch and go, wow, this is beautiful. So this is called the Flame Orange Impatience. Yes. Love this. Flame Orange Impatience. Wow. So all of the impatience that we um, have on the show now are the newer varieties of impatience where you get um, more color, they're more sun tolerant. Old impatience, like if you grew them 20 years ago, they were, um, they, well, they all got wiped out by a, a, a fungus, basically. But now we have these um, re fungus resistant and um, um, disease resistant. But now look at what we have here. These Gorgeous. ones are these two-tone. I don't know if you can get in and see that, but they're these beautiful, like, red-orange flowers. Look at look at that. And, the tip and is then like... the tips are purple. Oh so that's just another uh, beautiful um, evolution of, of plant breeding, where now we have two-tone impatients, which are just so pretty. So, so uh, I mean, these, these ones really are quite unique with that purple and red. I, I mean, I... I, just stunning. I, I, they're just stunning. Yeah. They're just stunning. They look I like they're a little water dense they are too. And they're so dense. These are very um, disease tolerant. These are just workhorses of the garden. You cannot go wrong with an impatient. They are going to be the thing that brings you annual. These are annuals. Okay. Annual um, color. So when we think about annuals and perennials, we usually do annuals because they're just like so floriferous. These are definitely those. They're going to be those tough plants. These are the ones that like I love these because sometimes if you forget to water them, they literally <laughs> will like fall down. And then if you put water on them, they I stand right back up. I love them. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're like so fun like that. So um, And it's actually a set of three. And so how do we three. work with these? Yeah, so you're gonna get these. This is this is one year growth. Okay. These are annuals, so they're gonna come with a three month warranty, which is all you really need. But they're annuals for their bloom, but they're perennials. These are annuals. They're just annuals, yeah. But you said, if they come like this, how am I getting to this? These, this, this will turn to this, this season. They Get grow, out of here, they, they grow that fast? They grow very quickly. Okay, so here's how yes. they start. This is how they Dang. start. And this is how they will be That's impressive. by mid-season. Yeah, they are very impressive. And they how long do they great. flower? And they flower throughout the entire, they will flower right until it Well, you guys, you gotta see, yeah. so it's starting. I kept thinking, I this will never get to this as no, an they annual. Will. So they literally. Will. And especially if you <laughs> do the, <laughs> do the leaf and petal flower power. Yes. This yes. is the, fla the food, the petal, the uh, plant food, which is awesome. Yeah. So this will become this. Yes. Wow. That that is amazing to me. They are amazing. <laughs> I, I have to tell you, as a landscape designer, I have planted no less than millions of these impatients in my career. And they are just amazing. There's a reason why they're one of the most popular plants in the garden is because they just knock it out of the ballpark all the time. That's they great. grow together. If you plant them in a mass, these will, you know, look at this together. They, they really yeah, do, them all, you know. Like imagine they, doing You know, it. this yeah, is how they start to look very easily. You know, they just become this big look at this, you guys. Uh, mass uh, <laughs> below a tree. And quickly. And quickly. <laughs> they do it quickly. So whatever that empty spot is, you know, you can fill that right up. Give yourself a flash of color. Well, I'll this, tell you, it would be beautiful hanging baskets. Hanging baskets. Can you imagine? I mean, this is a pretty. really yeah. easy, fast way to spruce up your home to give your home more curb appeal. Yeah. Are you getting ready to sell your home? I would highly recommend planting Ooh, these because, again, idea. they go from zero to wow really, really, really fast. fast. Really I kept fast. looking at them thinking, ah, uh, there's no way, but yeah. that's nope. pretty amazing. Yeah. And again, I think it's one of those really instant, quick things you can do, which really pays off very quickly. You know, obviously with our today's special, that's instant too. I love that that's a perennial the honeysuckle is perennial and the lavender is perennial but if you really want that pop i mean that hot red that just explodes the, off your front porch or deck or wherever this is what you want to order tonight and i'd get it early now other than the today's special all the rest of the plants we have we don't bring in you know thousands and thousands and thousands leaf and petal can't do that so you guys are the ones who are seeing this all first tonight so you get that wonderful opportunity to go yeah i love this color yeah i want something really Really quick that gives it that pow and that really powerful effect quickly this is what you want to go for for yeah. sure i can see as a landscaper designer why you would include these a lot we, a lot yeah. they are such you know you, you got to do stuff that you can count on and that isn't going to fail these are not going to fail and even if they do fail you can bring them right back again they're like just magic throw some water yeah, just throw some water <laughs> and by the way i want to say sure. these really go well i just want to show you with this 
Oh, Look at how pretty those go together. <gasps> and if you want it, you, you could do put it, it around the base. Put it around the base. Yeah, can you guys that see is, that? Can you see that? Is that in the way? Is, can you all no, see that okay? No, no, we can see it. You there, we now we get a better shot of it. I want to see. I mean, okay. they go really great together. So that's one of amazing. these. Ooh, I'm tripping. <laughs> one of these with the uh, hibiscus right there. Oh, can you, or, or with the great. gardenia. Or with the with gardenia, gardenia well. being white. Yeah. Can you imagine surrounding the bottom of that with the red? That would be really pretty. So we can leave them in a container, but we can put them in the ground. And again, same zones for shipping? Same zones for shipping. No, actually, uh, okay. annuals are going to be a little bit later. If we show the map, you'll see the annuals ship two weeks later. So okay. um, if you're ordering anything else from the show tonight, you'll get those first. These will come a, just a little bit later. Oh, okay. Um, so, and then you, same thing, plant it when they arrive. Okay, guys, so we have a couple really cool things happening each and every day. If you spend $75 or more, you get free shipping on everything all day long. But today, it's a VIP special savings event. Yes! So what you do is get that HSN card out. Use this code and you can use it all day long and just keep checking out and checking out and checking out. For every $75 you spend, we're going to give you $15 back. Now, that doesn't... You'll, how do I explain this, Rocky? It doesn't matter how you hit the 75. We're not... How should I say that, Rocky? You won't be penalized on the free shipping if, when you get the $15 off. Thank you. Yeah. We're not going to make you start all over again. So just have fun today. Use that VIP savings. Just use it over and over and over and you'll still get all the free shipping no matter what, which is really cool. Of course, with that $75 threshold for free shipping. That's a little confusing and I apologize, but I hope <laughs> you understand. It's just a huge amount of savings. Yeah. Just yeah. shop, have fun and we'll take care of all the business. Just use that code and use it a ton, okay? By the way, I do want to mention the leaf and petal once again as I'm walking over here everybody it, well, almost everybody's picking this up to go along with the today's special or quite frankly with any of the beautiful plants that we featured tonight well here's the scoop over 1600 of our today's specials have been ordered it's the only time we do it all year long this is it here's what you have you have your choice of the beautiful bold hibiscus look at how large these flowers are they're almost as big as my stretched out hand they're way bigger than the palm of my hand. And you get all these amazing colors because it's a trio of hibiscus. Your other choice is gonna be the gorgeous gardenia. And we'll show you that in just a second. But envision this on your front porch, flanking both sides. It's a wow moment. And it is a perennial. So you will have blooms starting when it arrives, all the way through spring, summer, and into the fall. And then the next year, and the year after that, and the year after that, you're gonna have it come back again. Now you can put these in the ground if you live in the warmer states. If you live up north, put them in container, take them inside during the winter in a little sunny spot, and you'll enjoy these year after year after year. Now let's talk about the gardenia. Right now I can smell it. It's so cool because it's that beautiful scent that we love. I can't tell you how many Bath and Body, body products and perfumes base and start and are gardenia because the scent's amazing. Now imagine this, both sides of your porch, something really elegant and beautiful. It's like a gorgeous wedding flower on your porch or on your deck. Even if you have a little teeny space like I do, both of these choices are gonna work for you because you stick them in a container. But you get years of beautiful florals. And what I really like, I'm gonna step down here, is this is the size that arrives. It's not a stick. And 10 years from now, you hope you got something happening. You literally are getting a big old box that will have this inside it, ready to start to bloom or starting to bloom the minute it hits your door. Now, the one thing I wanna to mention too is the leaf and petal plant food. It's a 50 count, it's really easy to use. It's gonna love it, right? Just make it better and better. If you get this and this together, that gives you the free shipping on everything, including these two items, plus everything else you shop for today. Because why? You hit the $75 mark. And then get your card out and use the code to save an additional $15. Before the hour's over, I will figure out how to get that right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I think I did. I actually think I got it that time because I, I know it's a little confusing. Sorry about that. All right, by the way, check out hsn.com. You can see all of our beautiful spring and garden event items, including more from Leaf and Petal, plus a whole lot of other people are gonna be joining us throughout the day as we celebrate that. We are so close to spring, so I'm super pumped about that. And if you're a little bit behind 
soon. You missed our today's special. In about eight minutes, we're going to give you the full scoop. So stick around because Rochelle's going to continue to join me and we will talk about the today's special again in eight. All right, so now we're going to talk about roses, yeah. but not your everyday rose. Yeah. I love the name of this. It's the mint julep. Yeah. Mama, when I think about that, I think about a fabulous Kentucky drink. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And we picked it because it's St. Patty's Day. It kind of, you know, goes with the holiday. <laughs> but the mint julep is named um, not because it's a minty rose, but because it's a very fragrant rose, by the way. This one is uh, a hybrid tea rose. It's going to smell really great, but it does get, it's yellow rose, but it gets these little tips, uh, tinges of green That's around so that. Cool. So it's, it's, you know, it's kind of <gasps> it's a, great a little shot. bit different. You know, if you're, if you're a rose collector, this might not be one that you have. It's a little bit of a novelty. Um, like many roses, though, it's going to get about four feet tall, a couple feet wide, has great long stem yellow blooms. This is how it's gonna come though. This is what we call bare root roses. And if you know anything about roses or you're a rose, rosarian as we call them, people who really love roses, they prefer this. Um, they prefer to get their roses like this. And the reason for that is because these are field grown. They're taken, um, they not, they're not grown in a container um, where they might get like root bound or whatever, or controlled by the size of the container. They're field grown. Um, these are a couple years old already and they're pruned back and they're sent to you like this. All you have to do is plant it into the ground. You can kind of see where where the dirt line already was. Make sure all these roots get nice contact with the soil. Usually I take a little ball of dirt and put that right up in there, put it in the hole, fill it in, water it, and you'll see actually on many of these, this one I can't really see it, but they'll, this, some of them will have leaves coming out already. Okay. Which So what you're getting though with a, with a bare root rose is something that's gonna bloom in the first year. You're going to get oh, wow. uh, a, an immediate rose bush because this is, this is just pruned back. This is a, uh, a substantial um, bush. Um, without all the shipping, without all the soil, without all that other stuff. Um, so you, you're getting a lot of rose immediately. Um, and this is what it's gonna come into. It's beautiful. You look at It's blues. absolutely gorgeous. It's really pretty. I love a yellow rose. That's my favorite color. Like yellow rose, Texas, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, so I love this because it's a long lasting flower, right? It is. Um, mm -hmm. And also you can put them in a vase if you want to. So again, instead of giving roses they have to throw out, give them roses they'll love year after year. And again, roses are perennial. Yeah. Roses are perennial. Yeah. I just have to say this, um, when I was a kid, my sister and I, we gave my mom roses every year for Mother's Day, yeah. every year. So yeah. she had a whole rose garden. And then we moved oh. like when I was in high school from like one house to another house. We had to spend a week taking up all the roses. <laughs> and transporting them. Transporting. So the people Thankfully buy their, we only moved the people, a mile away. The people who <laughs> bought their house like, wait, there used to be so pretty. What happened to the rose What happened to the flowers? <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Like, Whoops. <laughs> well, also, Bye -bye, going. That, I think what's inter interesting <laughs> too, because I read this in the information, the green is more pronounced in hot weather and in cooler weather, it brings out more of the yellow, the yellow. kind of pinky tones, yeah. which yeah. I thought was really kind of yeah. cool. Yeah, so they're little chameleons. They're yeah. a fun rose. You know, if you're not, um, if uh, you know, if you just want something a little more novel, uh, this is a particularly beautiful rose, and you also get that great fragrance. Not every rose smells amazing. I True. love a smelly rose. I this do is too. A definitely a smelly rose, so you can count on that as well. <laughs> um, it's gonna, you know, give you all of that, you know, heady floral. I love that we have so many like strong smell. Just That's, wonderful sense yeah. between the honeysuckle yeah. and the gardenia yeah. behind and us. And the lavender. Now, how this. big does this get eventually? So this will get about four feet tall, about two, two and a half feet wide. I just want so to point out something, big. you know, the most classic, classic combination of flowers in a garden is roses and lavender. And they love the same spot. This oh. is just, you know, something, the combination of the two, the rose with the lavender we, around, guys, the, around the edge. Guys, you still have lavender floating around just one it, of those? They're just fantastic. I actually, um, know what I'm do guys if you missed it let's just we're going to recreate it yeah um and because i want you to see this because that would be amazing and remember amazing. the lavender is perennial the roses are perennial what does that mean it's year after year you're going to have flowers and you know once you get them started and they kind of they really both you know i used to have rose bushes i lived, used to live in a victorian home we had beautiful rose bushes and i didn't have to do much to them yeah no no you really don't and especially you don't have to do um much to more modern roses um like a lot of the things like the impatience and whatnot. A lot of the plants that we um, grow, and the lavender for that matter, we have gone through many, many, many cycles of improving them. So something like a rose or lavender used to be either very difficult, you had to spray it, you had to treat it for a lot of pests and diseases. You do not have to do that anymore because we have bred in disease resistance. So making them hardier. Made them hardier, yeah. made them um, less resistant or more resistant to um, the fungus that, that uh, commonly gives you a know, black spot on the, on the rose leaves. Um, 
um, the the bugs that bother them. All of that is is built in kind and the bread out that, or bread out yeah. bread out or bread in or bread yeah however you want to say that but, <laughs> but the reason for that is because we don't want to be spraying pesticides and fungicide all the time we That's don't right. we do, you know we want plants that not only do we have to do that work but we don't want to have to be doing that to the environment either so sure. this is um, just fantastic fa fantastic evolution of roses um, and lavender and uh, uh, impatience like all the plants we we, we had this hour actually right. um, have these great improvements so well, and I think what's nice about this too again I said this earlier it's 21.95 and you said in the first season we should be able to see blooms which yep. means it grows pretty yep. rapidly what do you i really want you to know about our delivery direct this is what i love especially when we're doing a show like this maybe you're picking up that amazing hydrangea and you want to send it to your mom or maybe it's that unusual birthday gift you're like no one will believe that you're sending him them these right they're going to be like oh wow especially when it's just not sending them some flowers you buy off the internet and they die in a week when you send these and we do what's called delivery direct is all you do instead of having us mail it to your house we will mail it to whoever you want us to mail it and what leaf and petal does is they'll mail it at the right time when it's supposed to be either put on the ground or you can leave it in the containers right or put in a container so again here's the shipping window it's approximate but the, you don't have to worry about it oh i was hoping the big yeah the yeah. big plant do we That's have the, okay. the real grown one no, it's gone already. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay, no. never mind. <laughs> we were going to show you the full lavender with this, but it is MIA. Anyway, um, what I like is Leaf and Petal, they they worry about the shipping for you. So one day it's just going to arrive and you'll be like, oh my goodness, here's this cool box. What did I order? And like, oh my goodness, it's my roses or it's my today's special, which is a big box, right? So don't worry about any of that. It arrives in time when you need it and when it's right for your environment and your zone. You don't have to fuss with that. And you guys really do make it so easy to really look like you're a gardener. Now, if you're a gardener, you're gonna love it because you're just getting these really hardy, durable plants. But if you say, oh, I'm a brown thumb, I can't do anything. I love Leaf and Petal because that's their passion. They want everybody to enjoy the love of flowers, the love of being able to grow something and not have to do a lot of effort. Now, this is our lavender. You're yep. getting, I think, three of these. Three of these. Now, if we had the bush out here, it's really big and it's really purple and it's really beautiful. Yep. So imagine that <laughs> mix of the yellow green to the purple. Purple exactly. would be shocking. And yeah. it'll be a whole lot bigger than this. <laughs> yeah. Well, and you know, the other thing that's really nice about the combination, not only do you have the purple and yellow, nice contrasting colors, yeah. but this foliage really contrasts oh, well looks too. Great. You've yeah. got the silver yeah, with perfect. the green. It's All very right. beautiful. Well, here we go. Another look at our wildly popular today's special from Leaf and Petal as we celebrate their fourth anniversary right here on